My name is Emily and I'm here to talk about my abortion pill experience. Um, I had two experiences at 17 and again at 19. Um, the first time I was 17, I was really young and it was the start of my senior year in high school. I got pregnant and I was too afraid to tell my parents. Um, I told my boyfriend at the time, but he told me the only choice is abortion. So I just went with that and um, I was sad about it. And I did consider the different scenarios in my head. Like, could I keep the baby? How would life work? Would it be okay? And I knew that there's no way I could do that. Just knowing how my parents were and raised in like, a pretty strict Christian household, I was embarrassed to even tell them I was having sex, let alone say I was pregnant because I just knew they would be upset. So I told my older sister and then I made an appointment for Planned Parenthood, but it was hard because I didn't even drive at the time. Um, so I had to rely on a friend to take me and they only had appointments during the school day. So I had to cut school and go down to Planned Parenthood. It was a terrible experience altogether, but they were, um, I remember I had to go get a Medicaid insurance to pay for it because I wasn't gonna use my parents' insurance since I wasn't telling them that I was pregnant. So I had to go to social services and get insurance and then go down to Planned Parenthood. And all during school, I ended up getting caught. <laughs> my mom, found out I didn't go to school because the school called her. So I said, oh, my friend got an abortion and I was going with them because that was better than saying I did it at the time. Um, uh, so I went down to Planned Parenthood and they gave me a little card to fill out when I got there about why I was there. And I said pregnancy and I put my age and my birthday and my last period. They pretty much brought me to see a counselor for a few minutes, but the counselor didn't show me like models of a baby and the age or what they look like at that stage of pregnancy or there was no talks of what your body's doing or pregnancy in, in positive light. It was just like, okay, you're pregnant. What do you want to do? Your parents don't know. Oh, right. Abortion's the right answer. Okay. So they give you the pills for it. The first half of the pills you have to take in front of them and then you go home and you take the other ones like 24 hours later or something. I can't really, it's been a long time. It's been like 10 years almost. So sorry for not remembering everything perfect, but yeah, you go home and you take them the next day. And I was, I did, I went home. I still didn't tell my parents. Um, it's so dangerous. Like I can't believe young girls or any girls do that because it's so dangerous. Like um, the amount of blood that there is you can hemorrhage you could there's so many things that can go wrong especially for a young girl who doesn't tell her parents and then that's a huge medical procedure and it's very risky and it's looking back on it I can't believe that I did that I can't believe I put my body through that or I risked all those things it was scary and it was traumatizing it was the worst thing I've ever done um, I still regret it to this day it, like it's just little things remind you about the choices that you may that you might make like a long ways later when you're older you might think about the baby you lost or choose not to keep um it's really sad for me i think about it a lot and i think about i would do anything to have them in my family today and you know i miss that person that i didn't keep it's a very very sad and heartbreaking thing um so then going back to when i was younger so I took the second pill at home. I bled a lot. Um, I saw like a lot of stuff coming out. It was just, it was traumatizing. Um, I guess I recovered as much as I could as a young person. Two years later though, I found myself in the exact same situation, which they say it's a statistic. It happens like if you get pregnant at a certain age, um, like under 16, there's a high chance that you'll get pregnant again within two years. So it happened to me. So I was 19 this time and I got pregnant and I already knew what to do about the abortion. So like that was in the back of my head, but I was planning to keep the baby at first, but 
my boyfriend and I were in terrible terms and he was not supportive whatsoever at all. I was still living at home. I was in college. Um, I had a good job, but I was working part time and I still lived with my parents. So I didn't really think that I could keep the baby and I was scared to tell them again. I was ashamed that it happened to me again, but at first I was like, well, I have to have an abortion again. Like, I guess just from the media and from um, other pressures of a career and college and stuff, that's just the first thought that comes to girls' head these days, kind of. It's like, well, if I'm not married, I have to have an abortion, right? So that was just conditioned on me, and I went with it. Um, I went through the process again. Medicaid, got the insurance to get an abortion, went back to Planned Parenthood. This time, though, I didn't want to do it at all. Like, I felt sick. I felt terrible about going there. Um, and I went and took the first two pills. And then after that, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go home and throw them up. I took them in the office again, cause you have to, they won't let you go home with them. So I took it in the office in front of the lady. And I even told her, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. And I was, I took a long time. I was staring at the cup and the pills in my hand. And I said, I don't want to do this. And she was just like, like she didn't help me at all to be like, well, there's an option or well, maybe you should think about it or go home and talk to your family. Like she was just like, well, we already, you already paid for them. They're here to basically take them. And so I did. And then I had to drive home from there with the other pills. I had them in my purse. I was going home. It was a Friday night back to my parents' house. It was pouring rain. I was stuck in traffic in the rain and I was just crying. I cried the whole way home because I took the pills and I knew that I didn't want to do it. And I went home and told my sister again. And this idea just came to my head about abortion pill reversal, which I've never heard of before. So I kind of know God put that idea in my head. And I just got in the shower so I could cry without my parents knowing what was that I was crying basically. And I was in there and I was thinking about if I throw them up, like, will that work? Have they been dissolved yet? Because the first pills cut off the baby's food supply and the pills you take the day after flush the baby from your body or cause a forced miscarriage. So I, I knew that and I was thinking, I was like, have the pills been digested? Have they been, will they work? Can the baby still eat? Like what's, what can I do to stop this? Is there a way to reverse it? So I got out of the shower and I went on Google and I looked it up, abortion pill reversal. And it actually came up a hotline phone number. So I called it and a really, really sweet woman named Elizabeth Delgado answered. And she said, how far along are you? When did you take the pill? And I said, I literally just took it like 45 minutes ago. And she said, that's the best thing you can tell me because the sooner the better. If you take the abortion pill reversal, it will work the more likely if you put less time between taking the pill and taking the reversal. So she found me um, a clinic, a pro-life clinic that was like 30 minutes from my house that could administer the reversal to me um, the next morning at like 6 a.m. So it would have ended up being about 12 hours from taking the first abortion pill to taking the reversal. And the reversal was a set, well, when I got there, they were the sweetest people. They were so different than the people from Planned Parenthood. They were welcoming and loving and they, explained they showed me little models of the baby like eight weeks pregnant it was like this tiny and this is what's inside of you and they were very supportive they said don't worry about your parents we'll tell them with you we'll be with you every step of the way we'll get you a crib we'll whatever you need which is true they did they ended up giving me a lot of stuff um free pregnancy prenatal classes a, a bassinet clothes diaper bag they did tell my mom with me and um to this day, we're all friends and it worked out really well for me, but the reversal was at first, a ser I got a shot that day of progesterone and then I had to go back every day, then every other day, then once a week, then once a month for the first trimester. And then from there on, it was a normal pregnancy. Although I was considered high risk, I wasn't, the progesterone only lasted the first trimester. Um, so they told my parents with me, um, they actually took it pretty well. And on Thanksgiving, I heard the heartbeat for the first time because I got pregnant in the fall. So it was around Thanksgiving that I heard his heartbeat and then I found out I'm having a boy in March. And then in July, I had a beautiful boy who is now almost six. 
And his name is Ezekiel, which means God strengthens. Um, and I chose that name because the whole pregnancy I was praying and begging him, please just let my baby be healthy. I pray that the effects of the pill don't do anything to him. Please just let him be healthy. And he is, and he's perfect in every way. And having the reversal was the best decision of my life. Having an abortion was the absolute worst decision. I know because I've done both. Um, yeah, still to this day, I will get heartbroken over my choice at 17. Um, I tell my husband about it. I just go through periods of being emotional about it. But choosing life was the absolute best choice I've ever made. And it's not hopeless if you are pregnant. It's a different life than you may have imagined for yourself, but it's better in every way. Being a mom is my favorite identity. It's the best identity I've ever had. And it's it's really worth like the reversal and all the, the trials of telling your parents or boyfriend trouble, you know, that all that stuff is just in the moment, but long-term there's ways it can work out. And that's my story. Um, I hope it helps someone out there or at least helps somebody relate. If they are pregnant, um, know there's options and pro-life clinics offer so much support. Free ultrasounds, prenatal testing, classes, um, Medicaid offers pre prenatal care, obstetric care. There's so many resources and people who can help you and support you. And it can be the best decision you've ever made. Thank you for listening to my story.